Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Got a drill for you directly from the man himself, Ben Hogan, coming to you right after this. Okay, so here's how I found out about this drill. I've been, believe it or not, involved with golf since 1978. It's kind of a long time. I'd never seen this drill, never heard of it for, well, until last year. That's when I got this book, uh, Michael Hebron's book. It's Golf Mind, Golf Body, Golf Swing. And Michael had reprinted this article. And let's see. So it's from 1943 Esquire magazine. Now, for whatever reason, doesn't matter. Michael reprinted the article, but not the pictures. Here's how it begins. Mr. Hogan says, I can harness your golf swing so you'll be converted from a high handicap hacker into a sensationally good swinger. The transformation will be made easily within a few weeks. Okay, so I didn't say that, he did. All you need is two belts. I'm going to show you how to get this done. It's going to challenge you but you'll get a good feel for how to harness your arms and your lower body. And just be warned, some of you, if you're like me, you may feel like you have to be put in traction when you try this, but it's, it's a really good drill and it's fantastic for the man itself. So I would suggest that you start, maybe not even swinging a golf club, definitely don't start hitting, hitting golf shots. You're going to take one belt, see if I can do this without falling over, just above your knees, okay, and the, your, your knees should not, well, you shouldn't have the belt wide enough that your knees can splay out really far. You'll notice your knees should look pinched in a little bit. Take the second belt, put it across your elbows, or just above your elbows, across your arms, okay? So you may want to start like this. Just go back as far as you can. Now, if you just do this and you watch yourself in a mirror, you're going to start to really, especially if you watch Mr. Hogan swing, see how his swing probably developed from this drill. Who knows how much he did it? I can't talk with my hands right now. Um, he may have done this drill thousands of times. We don't know. But he definitely used it when he taught and like I said it's going to give you some definite sensations you've probably never felt before and I'll give you the link to the article so you can read it so the second half of the story by the way so I saw the article in Michael's book without the pictures so I did a little research um, and yesterday I found the, the actual article so it's March 1943, Esquire magazine. It's actually got the pictures with it too, which to me helped. So I'll put the link so you can go to the website, see the article. It's going to, if you put the pictures and put the belts on, then maybe get yourself in front of a mirror, you're going to develop a real appreciation for how flexible he was. Um, it's going to kind of help you understand why he had some looks in his golf swing. But again, the excuse me while I walk funny, um, the gist of this, of this drill with the two belts is to you know, especially keep your arms from flying apart at the top, which he didn't believe was a good idea. Um, and the second way you can use this, if I can get this back on here. So let's say we just start with standing up, not really in golf posture all the way. It's going to give you a real feel especially if you watch the pictures now you need to pay attention to how the belt looks on his body um, it's going to give you a real appreciation for how he started the the club back i uh, obviously am not flexible enough to get it where he did um, this going to kind of help you feel you know why he released the way he did or why he finished the way he did but also the way you can use it once you get used to these <laughs> belts across your body, 
the way I would have you practice is go, let's say that's the top of our swing. I want to move the bottom belt before I feel like I moved the top belt. So I don't want to just, you know, move the top belt first. And that belt across your knees is really going to, you know, give you the feel of trying to lead with a lower body, right? And so it's a little challenge now. I'm not going to lie to you especially if you're not very flexible like me. But it's a great little drill. It's gonna give you some, some unique feels. It's gonna help you kind of tie your body parts in really well. Gonna teach you how to use that. So you could also take the top belt off and go, let's go there, let's go there, let's go there. And just feel, you may wanna just start with the bottom one. Okay, that's, he had a little bit of slide, but you know, you don't want to be doing this, right? So you'll take the, the belt on the bottom. It's going to look like it's slanted to the right if you look down at it. Then you take the, the left side of the belt, pull it back into place. And take the left side of the belt and continue to pull it behind you. And that'll give you some really good reps, especially now since we probably can't go to the golf course too much. And give you a feel of the way the great man swung. It was a lot different than what we do.